we have the head coach of Incarnate Word, the Cardinals, G.J. Kinney, on with us right now. Congratulations, Coach Kinney. What a great win at Nevada this past weekend. Yeah, it was huge. A great win. Really uh, proud of our guys, proud of our staff, uh, proud of our school. You know, uh, going on national scene and uh, on the road and getting a win like that was huge. Now, you are undefeated for your career as a head coach because now this is your first season as a head coach of a program, 2-0. and The respect that the Cardinals are getting right now because the FCS rankings came out and you guys leapfrogged two teams that won and are now ranked sixth in the nation. What's it like getting that respect nationwide? Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, it really is. Uh, we got a great bunch of guys and, um, and great staff. And, and I think anytime you're, you, you have an exciting brand of football, we score a lot of points. Uh, we have a lot of TFLs, a lot of sacks. I think, I think, you know, the media likes it. I think, you know, TV likes it. So I think that's one of the reasons why we are jumping up in the polls. That is GJ Kenny, head coach of Incarnate Words football team, undefeated at 2-0, and ranked sixth in the FCS rankings. Now, uh, beat Nevada 55-41 to out there in Reno. What was it like going out there and getting that win? Because we talked last week before this game, and you were saying getting a win against an FBS program would be big for Incarnate Word. And on top of that, knowing that a lot of people in the stands have no idea who Incarnate Word is. Yeah, I think we use that a little bit as motivation. We talked about it with our guys all week, and, and we started off a little slow. We turned the ball over, you know, two two of the first three plays. Um, but really after that, we, we really dominated the game on both sides of the ball. We had a receiver with two, almost you know, 270 yards receiving, two touchdowns. Mm-hmm. During we, had a, we had a defensive end, Chris Whitaker, with four sacks, both school records, and and uh, so, it, you know, I think we have a lot of confidence right now. I think our guys are really believing um, on both sides of the ball. And, and we're going to need that this week um, playing in a hostile environment. Head coach G.J. Kinney of Incarnate Word talking with us right now at halftime. You know, you guys were down 17-3 in the first quarter. And as you mentioned, two early turnovers there. What's it like to just maintain focus and keep with the game plan? Because you guys ran the ball a lot Saturday. Yeah, I think, you know, a former quarterback, you, you're always taught not to get too high, not too low. And, and you know, that's kind of how I am on the sideline as well as the head coach. And I just kept on, you know, preaching to our staff, is, you know, just weather the storm, talking to the guys. There wasn't any panic on the sideline. Um, you know, we had a really good plan on both sides of the ball. We have really good players. And, and uh, once we got into a rhythm, uh, we were able to go out there and play really well. Now, I know the offense gets a lot of love, and that'll happen when you score 55 yeah. points. Uh, but seven of those points or a touchdown of that came from the defensive side. Big play in the third quarter, forcing that fumble, long return, long fumble return for a touchdown. Tell me about that play and how that sparked the team going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, we've had two defensive touchdowns in back-to-back weeks, which is which is huge and it's awesome. And, and uh, you know, Chris Whitaker got after the quarterback and Kletchy was able to, to pick it up and take it to the house and, and uh, we had a great, you know, great scheme. Coach Packy, uh, you know, really had him dialed up and, and we got after the quarterback and we able to, you know, get our hands on the ball and, and finish the play uh, in the end zone. And we were very close a couple other times uh, to doing it as well. So we got to continue that. Coach G.J. Kenny of Incarnate Word, uh, some big, big numbers out there. Lindsey Scott, again, 406 yards passing, four touchdowns. Darian Chafin, I made the joke earlier this week that uh, he put up some Justin Jefferson-like numbers, uh, seven receptions, 262 yards, two touchdowns. That's incredible. And uh, I saw that that uh, the stat line there, that you had 44 rush attempts to 25 pass attempts. So very heavy on the ground. Marcus Cooper, Gerald Wiley combined for 156 yards. Each had a touchdown. Uh, the balance there, is it just take what the defense gives you or do you go into the game thinking to yourself, this is the game plan. We are running the ball. We are passing the ball. Or is it basically just adjust to what the defense is showing? Yeah, we're going to adjust to what the defense gives us. But we, we felt uh, felt very confident in the run game uh, going into the game, even though uh, up to that point, they've been very stingy on defense, very good against the run. But uh, we felt like it was a really good matchup for us. We have a, a really good offensive line and, and uh, really good running backs. And anytime with Lindsey back there, it adds that extra dimension, uh, extra um, guy they have to account for. Um, so, you know, we should be able to run the ball, 
you know, it's, it's who we want to be. We want to be a run play action team. And, and uh, I think you really got to see the offense kind of come together in the, you know, second, third and second half uh, because we're able to run the ball. Head coach GJ Kenny of Incarna Ward with us. What's the confidence level like in the locker room? I'm assuming getting two big wins, you guys are puffing your chest. You guys are excited about being out there, excited to wake up, go to practice. What's the confidence level like in a 2-0 and locker room right now? Yeah, I think we're very confident, but, um, you know, I, I try to get these guys ready each week, and, and we know we have a very tough opponent uh, this week in Prairie View, and, and uh, you know, they probably have the best offense that we've faced so far. Uh, they're really talented, explosive, and, and so we got to come ready to play, and, and um, you know, I try to keep these guys grounded as much as possible, but at the same time, I want to be confident. Uh, you know, you want to have a swagger out there on the field, and, and these guys deserve it. I mean, we've, we've – uh, you know, really dominated two really good opponents the first two weeks. So uh, if we want to get to where we want to be, then then we got to continue to to put it on, guys. Now tell me about Prairie View. Uh, they lost to ACU this past weekend, 21-13, uh, to 13, but they had beaten Texas Southern the week before, actually pretty big. Uh, what can you expect from that team and going on the road over there? Uh, are, are they pass happy? Are they going to try to run it down your throats? What are they, they going to try to do? Yeah, I feel like they're pretty balanced. Uh, their quarterback is a really good player. Um, he's really he can throw the ball really well. He's explosive uh, in the run game. Um, they have a, a stable of backs that are, that are really good. Um, they have I think their receivers really you know they flash to me on film. They got a lot of speed out there. Um, and then on defense, uh, you know I think it starts up front. They got a couple really good D linemen. Uh, they had a corner with two interceptions. So. Um, this is a really good football team we're playing. And, and uh, you know, for us, coming off a huge win like Nevada, we got Sea law next week. Um, so we've just been preaching these guys all week. And, you know, don't take these guys lightly. we got to come out here and, and, and play. Real fast, after Prairie View, you've got Alabama State. And don't – actually, no, that's not Alabama State. I'm no. sorry about that. Uh, no. you, don't come, you don't come home until October 1st, if I'm not mistaken. You have Southeast Louisiana after Prairie View. And then you come home against no. McNeese State. I have made plans to go to the Incarnate Word game against McNeese State. I tweeted that the other day. I said, here are all the games I want to go to between now and, and the mid-October. I'm going to go to an LSU game because my daughter goes to LSU. I'm going to go to a Saints game. I'm going to go to the Spurs home opener. Uh, I'm, I went to a UTSA game. I want to go to an Incarnate Word game. Benson Field, what's it like? What's the tailgate experience like over there? What are the crowds like? Is it just growing, growing more and more as time goes on? Yeah, I've only been part of one. We, our first game versus Southern Illinois, and we had a great uh, tailgate that first game. Uh, we had a packed house on the home side, and, and guys were really loving it. You know, when the when the lights went out, we had a light show. I mean, guys <laughs> were having a lot of fun. And, 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 and it is important. You know, I tell everyone, that, you know, we want to win, but the way we win, we want to be exciting. We want to get fans to the to the game and, and put on a show uh, for San Antonio. So uh, we're heading in the right direction. we got a bunch of really good players and uh, really good coaches, and, and uh, so I'm excited about the brand of football we're playing right now as well. What's the best way to get tickets to the 2-0 and in Carnival Ward Cardinals football team? Uh, that's not my department. I, I'm, not <laughs> I'm gonna sure. assume. I'm, sure. go, I'm, I'm gonna sure assume. Somebody go, can help you. I'm assume just, just go to the website, right? Know. Go to Incarnate Word's website. Yeah, yeah, go to the website. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Very nice. That is head coach GJ Kinney of Incarnate Word. Fantastic start to the season. Two and zero. Beat the living crap out of Nevada in Reno. Beat an FBS school out there. Now ranked six in the nation in the FCS poll. Thank you so much for being with us, Coach Kinney. Looking forward to next weekend. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, take sir. care. Thank I followed you on Twitter, by the way, too. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. I got you. Yes, sir. Talk to you All soon, right, man. Good, good luck this weekend. I know.